today we're talking about where to keep your ideas. When you have ideas, do you have a safe place to keep them? Do you know when and how you're going to start the idea? And, um, oh, good. Something's going on. That's never happened before. When you have ideas, we have a supposed to get that one. Do you whoa, know? whoa, whoa. Okay, I've got some feedback happening. That's odd. That's never happened before. So I didn't know what to do about it, but we'll figure it out. Um, okay, so, sorry. Technical, Look, every time, it's a thing. Okay. Um, so what do you do with all your brilliant ideas? Are you worried that you're going to forget about them? Um, it turns out that knowing when to be in action on an idea is just as important as the idea itself. And some are very time sensitive. And so you have to know that um, you need to take quick action versus ones that can wait and how to tell the difference between the two. Having a system for processing your ideas and how to store details about them is the key to keeping yourself from drowning in lots of in lots and lots of ideas. Most of my clients are idea people and they have all these great intentions to do things and then time gets in the way and it's hard to know what to do when. But taking a little bit of time to set up some sort of system to capture your ideas and give them a safe place to live helps you not worry about forgetting them at the right point in time. So I create um, a, a holding spot, if you will, because that there's always those pieces, right, of every solution I suggest to you. There is a place to keep it. There is a how to decide when to start it and um, how to determine um, and distinguish and differentiate which one should be next and setting aside the time to actually work on it. But part of the physical space of it is having some sort of control. So it doesn't really matter what your system is. We want one that works for you. So when you're ready, you can evaluate and um, see if it fits with your plan for feasibility and relevance. Sometimes ideas are just not yours to do. They're someone else's and that's okay, but it's a good idea and you wanna support it. And so you capture it because it's interesting, but it may not be yours to do. And you can let that go um, at a certain point. So I wanna share a couple different systems I've helped people implement over the years. Um, and a couple I've just heard of that were very cool and I've suggested to other clients, but no one else has quite captured it um, as the as the first person I heard about. So this woman was in a coaching program with me and she uh, had a like an heirloom crystal punch bowl that she loved. She no longer had the punch cups or anything, but she loved this bowl and it was on this point in her office. So she started using colored cards to capture her, her ideas. And she would just fold after the idea on the front of the card, fold it in half and dump it in the bowl. And so the bowl filled up with colorful colors of cards. And every time she was ready for a new project, she would just reach in and grab one. And if it was one that struck her fancy, she would be in that one. Um, those were mostly, most of her ideas and projects were a, are of the creative type. So they weren't as time sensitive or needing to be as um, integrated into, say, a mission or vision of your business or the plan for your media and website or a construction project. So it didn't need to be evaluated against other ideas in the same way. So that worked really well for her. Um, some people love to keep it digital and use a note-taking app or a document to just sure their ideas as they come up, either one document or note per idea, or just a list, depending if you're a list person or not. Um, I happen to be a fan of a good notebook and a basket. You know me, I love the basket. I use a letter tray 
for my upcoming ideas. And I use a notebook uh, and uh, loose leaf or some sort of um, move about, movable pages notebook. I have some disc notebooks and some uh, binder notebooks. I, I prefer the binder notebooks, but you can use whatever you like. One page per idea. And then I keep them in basket. And the basket is good because as it fills up, I go through it and I eliminate those ideas that I've already decided without knowing it belong to someone else or whose time has passed. They're no longer relevant or surprising number of times, the ideas captured and kept safe have been used in the meantime in some other profession and they don't need to be pushed out completely because the piece of that idea was connected to something else that I used it for. So it's a constant rotating system of ideas um, some are business ideas, some are personal ideas, some are home projects, some are out there projects, but they're a place to keep the ideas. And when you have that and you set aside a little bit of regular time to review it and take a look at it and see what new has occurred, um, it really helps. You know, as a person that requires some time to percolate on the ideas, um, I love this system because it does allow me to glance through the basket real quick if something uh, comes up that I think I already have some, a piece of it. Uh, and sometimes just going through the basket allows me to see things next to a different idea and shows them in a new light. So I just love uh, having to go through it a couple times. And I know some of you think that's kind of crazy and redundant, and I talk a lot about redundancies and how to eliminate as much as possible. But when it comes to ideas that you might want to spend time on creatively or uh, project-wise for other areas, it's sometimes a good idea to see them a couple different times to see what your brain can help you solve about that idea. Um, all right. It, it helps the brain like to problem solve, and it will begin making connections just if you save the idea. Don't have to jump on it right away, although you might want to. I'll leave that part up to you. Um, if you comment in uh, the comments area, the word ideas, I would be happy to send you a little something, something to help you with your idea capture. And um, I will see you next week. In the meantime, don't forget to support me by liking, following, commenting, and joining my narrative and telling all your friends to join us next week. In the meantime, have a delightful day.